Hello, today I wanted to talk to you about three books that in some shape or form include dogs because I'm getting my very first dog! I'm getting my very first dog in about a month's time and I jump at every opportunity I get to talk about them. So to make this short and sweet just like the books are, the very first I wanted to show you is this one, Waiting for Dogo, which I read this month. I don't know why I said that so weird. Waiting for Doggo, I guess. Uh, I picked it up in the bookstore and read it this month solely because of the title and I was not disappointed. The plot is about a guy called Dan who is left by his long-term girlfriend and the only thing she left, leaves behind is their apparently quite ugly terrier mutt mix um, doggo. So Dan, who has a job in advertising, has to somehow get to terms with the dog. And one of the scenes I actually liked the most is where he goes back to the animal shelter with Doggo to find out whether he can return him. And he leaves because he gets such a sort of bad feeling about the place, basically. And that then marks the first step of many of him befriending this dog. And I thought that was so nice. I mean, it's very easy to get a dog lover to fall in love with a dog, but I like the fact that Dan is really not your, your stereotypical nice guy. He's quite snarky and I liked him. And I think in the end I liked him even more because uh, he grows to like a dog, which makes everyone better, more likable in my eyes. Not biased at all. Um, the second book is also a fictional book, which um, I guess falls more underneath under the category of chick lit, I guess, than you say. Um, one of the things that might tip you off is the fact that it's written by Jojo Moyes and it's the one plus one. And it's such a sweet book. I personally didn't enjoy Me Before You that much, even though I guess that is her most successful book to date. But the one plus one is different. I loved all the characters. It's about a single mum and her two kids and their huge dog that they also adopted from the animal shelter called Norbert, I believe. And she's a, a struggling single mum. She meets Ed, I think his name is, um, who's a wealthy young man with a secret past, which, uh, y yeah, sounds really typical, but the book is written in a really nice way. You get chapters out of the point of view of all the characters, so also her two, her teenage son and slightly younger daughter, and they are all so sweet, and I guess it's not a book about a dog per se, because Norbert is just one of the family members, but that's what I liked so much. He's so, he just, completes this family of misfits and in the end he's very much one of them um, so I thought that was really sweet and the last book I read I read on my kindle in preparation basically for my my soon-to-be dog um, I read Caesar Milan's How to Raise the Perfect Dog uh, hoping to put his knowledge into my head so that I become a calm, assertive leader of the pack. As you might tell, I'm quite the fan of the Dog Whisperer. And because I have watched one too many episodes of the Dog Whisperer, this book didn't instill me with that much new knowledge, um, if you can say that. But it was very sweet. He basically follows four different breed puppies, sometimes showcasing a few others, and it tells you how ideally a dog would grow up and grow up to be a very well-balanced, happy dog, which goes a bit against his dog whisper ways of doing it when he just sort of rescues dogs that are all already not in a good place. So I did appreciate it for that because obviously with my future puppy, I would like to do everything right from the, from the get-go as far as that's possible. But I didn't feel like this was a, a must read for future dog owners. It was sweet. It got me excited to have my own dog. I, I would now say looking back that I would prefer, I would have preferred to read the German book because there's a chapter on sort of dog's health and puppy's health. Obviously I will be going to a German vet. So now I kind of have to Google some of the terms. No big deal, obviously. Um, actually for my purposes, I guess it would have been better to read it in German. 
also because linguistically I didn't feel like it was super important that I read it in English. Please, please, please tell me if you can think of any good books for dog owners or about dogs on the whole, fictional or non-fictional. I can feel the puppy fever starting and I would love to read many, many more books. Maybe one of these books tickles your fancy. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye. Cheers.